core vision of Daily Earth has remained same throughout the life of the Daily Earth. When we started, the core vision was to bridge the digital divide in Bharat. Our first offering was giving local language news to people on the world. As you know, India is primarily a local language market. Only 10% of people speak English. So our main aim was to bring local language news content online and help people become online for the first time also. Over a period of time, the market has evolved and the industry has evolved. And so have we. We have a broader vision and vision now to become the local language platform that empowers a billion Indians to discover, consume, and socialize content that enriches, informs, and educates. Uh, so, our whole product offering is evolved around this vision. So, look, I mean, you know, if you, see, if you just do a flashback, in 2012, any mobile phone could not support a local language phone. The mobile phone could only support an English phone. So if you were trying to render a Tamil phone or a Hindi phone, the whole text would come as gibberish. So we at that point of time invented a platform which could render a local language phone on the mobile phone. Now over a period of time, that has become you know, a core proposition of a handset manufacturing operating system. But now what we have done over a period of time is we have done a few more things around it. One is we have gone and got content across 15,000, uh, 1500 publishers, 20,000 stringers on the platform. We have a strong machine learning and an uh, AI stack which helps diverse people get the content of their choice. We have an app which serves autoplay videos in language of people, in language of choice of people. And we have done partnerships with people who don't have online audience. We have generated an offline content for them. So last six years we've done a lot of things like this to ensure that we are able to get an offline content to the and distribute it to the users. Exactly, you're absolutely right. Local language and vernacular is a new sexy word. After a geo launched, you know, about 18 months back, we have a lot of local language users coming online. Everybody wants to build their business around local language. But you know, if you step back, and see what we have built, right? We are offering a unique experience to the users. We are the only app which is offering a local language user a feel experience of a verified content. Be it news, be it entertainment, be it lifestyle, be it cricket, be it sports, be it health, and so on and so forth. So there is no other app which is offering you a unique feel experience of a local language news, information, and entertainment content. Second thing, the width and breadth of the content which we have across 15,000 verified publishers and 20,000 stringers, nobody has that. And that, that's a responsibility on us to provide people a verified content and not propagate fake news and other kind of content. The third thing is, we are offering a unique opportunity for new content creators who want to create local language content around news, around blogs, around video, to come on our platform and distribute and monetize. Fourth thing we are doing is, we are offering the advertisers a unique platform by which they can reach 150 million monthly active regional users. So it's a, it's a unique platform and nobody else in the country offers that reach. So these are the kind of few things which we have done to ensure that we are plumbing this market you know, in a big way. So I think, you know, we love this game. Our whole team you know, is proud of that we are building a product made in India for Indians. And we love this David versus Gaudiya plan. Uh, let's break this question into multiple parts how we were addressing this. Uh, first thing is, we are investing heavily in technology. We have a strong MI, uh, ML and AI engine which does two things. Which personalizes content and which personalizes ads. We are the only few companies in the country which has an act of its own, including you know auction, bidding, and personalization. So that's the first thing we have done. We have invested up in technology so that we can offer advertisers same amount of CTRs, same amount of flow through rates which Google and Facebook can. Second thing, if you go back to the history of Google and Facebook, their ad dollars went exponentially when they reached went beyond 400 million users. Today we are at 157 million users. We will be about 250 million users by June. As soon as we hit that mark, our ad monetization will go to a different scale. 
because then you become an intrinsic part of every planet in the country. That's it. Third thing, the way we are positioned ourselves, we have a unique audience. We have a unique regional audience which nobody has. And that audience is comes on a daily basis, spends about 27 minutes on the planet. Second thing is the brands are sure about brand safety on our platform because we have OGC and PGC content which is all very fine. So we are offering brands a brand safety mechanism of reaching out to 150 million users on a monthly basis, 30 million users on a daily basis to interact with them. And that's our unique position with the brand. The fourth thing we are doing is, which is our own classical Indian way, we have a strong sales force of 70 to 80 people which go out and talk to brands every day and media agencies every day and sell this. And you know, offline is a big component of any Indian business. And last but not least, we are opening our platform to small businesses in a self-serve way by which a small travel agent, you know, in Kochi or an education provider, you know, in a small place can target local people on a painful basis and reach out to those users. So these are the five or six areas by which we are building our you know, whole ad business and kind of giving a run of you know, run for you know, money to Google and Facebook. So I think, you know, again a great question and uh, the personalization word, word has been pasteurized by everybody in the industry. I would take it as a part of it. So the way, let me just give you a sneak preview into what our personalization is doing. We get 250,000 articles every day fresh. Now imagine how many, how many videos would a Netflix get in a day, or more than 1,000. Imagine our personalization engine is in a real time processing 250,000 articles, new articles every day. In real time, is parsing it into its own sets of features to figure out what the content is and it is matching to the user. The way we personalize is very different. We personalize based on a content level, which means if you come on the platform and you have read an article about health, about politics, about Hollywood, we are able to figure out what is your correlation of your consumption with an article. And we are able to do that based not only on the topic, but on the minor facts, like it was a Shah Khan article, or it was a you know, Prime Minister's news about Prime Minister, or it is a news about a location, for example, Martha, and so on. So we build about you know, 10,000 features of each article, and we are personalizing those feature set with your consumption pattern in a real time across 70 languages and personalizing the feed of the user. By doing this, the time spent on our app has gone up constantly, and our CTRs have gone up in a few of 70 to 80%. So personalization is a very, very, you know, it's a very, very strong science and engineering problem. And I would say we're one of the best companies in India who are invested into a personalization experience for it, people and the language. So we benefit from two things. One is we benefit from a strong tech stack. And the second thing is we benefit hugely from the six-year data of consumers we have who have used our app and left their data. And if you go and study out there, you will figure out that an engine is as good as the amount of data it feeds on. So we have two unique benefits. One is a great tech stack and history of millions of records of six years of local language users. And that makes us right up there in terms of first time. So, uh, you know, again, it's a very, very layered process. One thing is that YouTube is still a UGC platform. We are not a UGC platform. We, uh, we are, every content which comes on our platform is onboarded by our team through some process. So that way you are able to filter out people who are, you know, don't, don't need to do this. That's one. Second thing is, our machine learning algorithm and our personalization algorithm capture signals on each article uh, which user gives feedback on. So if there are plenty of users who are giving feedback on an article that is fake or it is improper, you know, we take that signal and we suppress the articles in the board. The third thing is, you know, we continuously give feedback to our publishers back. And, and I would say that's a big beauty about us. We are one of the platform which works in the ecosystem to develop the full ecosystem together. Rather than saying, okay, you are bad, you are fake, we take signals from users, we take the data and machine learning 
analytics which comes to our platform and give it back to the ecosystem for them to learn and improve and write and create better articles and videos around any subject. So look, I mean, the way I look at it is we are an enabler of the ecosystem, right? We invest heavily into, uh, you know, technology, heavily into personalization, heavily into new features for the users. And that's our goal. And we spend a lot of time figuring out how to retain users and how to market and get new sets of users. So as far as we, we think of ourselves, we think of ourselves as a complementary channel to the people who already have new smarter and new apps. Now the way I would look at it is that you can divide the market into multiple segments. There are some segments of users who are fanatic about a brand and they want to just read content around that. Those guys will perhaps always go and download the news app of that brand. But there is a major set of middle value of the country which wants to read content of multiple choices, multiple areas, you know, of multiple sources. And aggregate has offered that value block to the users, and that's why users come. Right? So that's the value block. The good thing is we do following things to make sure everybody in the ecosystem is one is we attribute the com school, we attribute com school to the traffic which comes from our publishers. Second thing is we monetize, we are only one of the few apps which monetize at a very large scale, you know, and we give our we give revenues back to the our, our partners. And third is we share a lot of data science and analytics back to our partners so that their newsrooms can improve and, and we all can you know create a better experience for users and the overall experience. So I think you know uh, I think everybody has an opinion about the next billion users. Everybody thinks that you can get next billion users by giving them. So let me rephrase my answer. Most of the people think they can get next million users by giving racy content or by giving their rewards. My belief is, if you want to get next million users, you want to culturally understand those users. Once you understand, once you culturally understand those users, you need to build features and products around those users, around those habits, around those content, and then those people guys will come on you and stick with you. It's very easy to get next million users, but it's more easier to do. So we should not undermine the complexity of these users. They are aspirational, they have cultural values. So whatever you build and do, we want to be in sync with those things to make sure they are engaged in that. The last 18 months saw a huge surge in user consumption where people have stopped bothering about the brand that they can view. And video is the feature. If you look at our platform, our platform is becoming more and more video segment. We will do something called video play, uh, video auto play, and our video consumption has gone up by 4x. We are soon launching a unique experience of non-linear TV on our platform, which is going to be the first of its kind in the world, which will offer people hyper-local experience in their language, personalized uh, in, in, in the genre they want, and it will be a pure immersive experience of video watching. Uh, <laughs> Our core belief is that we will show the next big driver of consumption and usage of our tax. We are hoping we will increase our time spent on our platform from 27 to about 40 minutes per hour uh, in coming 12 months.